We have more great Sailor Moon Cosmos news. Hello everyone, it's Lel, and in this video we're going to talk about the three voice actors that have been announced for Sailor Moon Cosmos, which are these three characters that are here on screen, baby. Three very, very important characters for this movie. I, I believe they're the most important characters, especially Galaxia and Chibi Chibi. They're probably going to be the most important characters for this saga of Sailor Moon, and we have their voice actors announced. And baby, this is so huge. Those voice actors are all legends in everything that they do. They are very, very big names, and I am so thrilled to have them in the Sailor Moon franchise. So let's talk about them. First, we have Galaxia, the biggest villain of the Sailor Moon franchise, the queen of it all. I love her. And she is going to be voiced by none other than Megumi Hayashibara. This woman, look, she is probably one of the most legendary voice actors that ever existed. She is, like, she graced Earth with her talent and her presence. This woman is just out of this universe, out of this galaxy. And uh, she has voiced so many iconic characters. One of them is Jessie or Musashi from Pokemon. And since we're all big Precure lovers here, she has already worked on the Precure franchise as Nico in the Smile Precure movie. Isn't that amazing? Now let's talk a little bit about Princess Kakyu, who is going to be voiced by none other than another legend in the voice acting world, Nana Mizuki, our dear Cure Blossom. Nana is another very big name in the, the voice acting world, but she's also a very big name in the J-pop world. She is a big, huge, powerful singer who, whose works as a singer are not always tied to her works as a voice actor. And sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't. She is a huge, huge, huge talent. And she is one of the most important leaders in the Precure franchise, voicing Cure Blossom in Heart Catch Precure. Isn't that amazing? And we also have Kotono Mitsuishi returning to voice Chibi Chibi. Yes, the voice, actors, the voice actor from Sailor Moon herself is going to do Chibi Chibi. Again, this is very important. Uh, Chibi Chibi is a very important character this time around. And since we're talking about the Precure franchise, let's not forget that Kotono has already worked as Hummy, one of the best mascots from Precure. <laughs> uh, she did Hummy in Sweet Precure, which is also one of the best Precure seasons. I love Sweet. So uh, she is one of the loveliest mascots. I absolutely love her. And uh, together with the announcement and the release of the voice actors, we had a little interview with each and they all brought something very interesting. Megumi Hayashibara talked about Galaxia and she said that Galaxia is a very tragic villain uh, because of her loneliness. I cannot wait to see how she will play that. And I really like the way she explained Galaxia because that really showcases that she, you know, she's diving deep on this character and she is going for blood for sure. <laughs> Nana Mizuki said that she is very happy to be on the Sailor Moon franchise. Uh, one franchise that she loved since she was a kid. And she also mentioned, I'm sorry if this is a spoiler, but I have to say, she also mentioned that there is a transformation scene in the movie that is very, very exciting. And she cannot wait for us to see it. She was very excited when she was playing that scene. Oh my God, that's amazing. And Kotono said uh, while working on Chibi Chibi, uh, she said that Chibi Chibi's origins in this movie are very different from Chibi Chibi's origins in the 90s. If you read the manga, you know what she's talking about. And she also mentioned that uh, this, is a, this is a story that the director uh, has done a very respectful adaptation of the manga while also respecting the 90s anime. Uh, and taking inspiration from it. I'm very curious for this particular information 
because the 90s uh, anime Sailor Moon Stars is very different from the manga version. So I'm very curious to see how the director is going to work adapting the manga version while also uh, respecting the roots of the 90s. I am very curious for this. If there's one thing I love about the Stars anime is the visual part of it. It's very pretty and I'm very, very excited. Uh, and together with the announcement, we also have the character designs. I really, really like them. Uh, we have Kakyu, which has this kind of sad look on her face, this tragic look on her face. And I really, really like this expression on her character. I adore it. I am really loving the character design from Stars. We have Galaxia looking fierce and cold, ruthless. Girl! Love this as well. And Chibi Chibi just looking cute, but also a little mysterious. And I like that because, you know, there's a lot of mystery in her character. And I feel like this is going to be brought a lot as well in the movies. Cannot wait. But we didn't have a new trailer. I think we are getting more trailers or at least a final trailer before the movies start. The movies are starting in June, so there is still time for that. And there is another thing that I believe is going to happen, uh, which I'm going to mention now, but this is all theory and conjecture based on what we've been seeing so far. A few months ago, a new J-pop group has been announced with the name of SG5. This group uh, is inspired by Sailor Moon. Uh, they, they already performed at an anime convention in the US. They are a Japanese group and they are training a lot for their debut release. We don't know when the debut release will come, but there are certain things that are very interesting about them. We have five members on this group as we can see here in the picture. Each one of them is inspired by one of the five Sailor Guardians, one of the inners as we like to call them, and they are a group inspired by Sailor Moon. When they were announced it was also said that the five of them performed to Naoko Takeuchi herself and Naoko approved them as a group. So baby they are already important, they are already huge, they have their impact on the Sailor Moon universe already just by performing to Naoko and getting her approval. And so far they haven't done much apart from that performance that was done last year in this anime convention and after that they have gone silent apart from some posts in social media. Yesterday they posted this picture and they said, Happy Lunar New Year! The moon will rise very soon. So we have this picture of the five of them. They're very stylish. I really like it. And they all said, the, the message said that the moon will rise very soon. So what I'm believing is that SG5 is going to do the soundtrack, not, not really the soundtrack, but the main song from Sailor Moon Cosmos. As I said, this is my theory. This is what I believe and I believe this is going to be their debut single. And when the debut single is announced is when we will have a sneak peek, a new trailer with a snippet of the song and their announcement as the uh, singers of the theme from Sailor Moon Cosmos. Because so far we haven't, we don't know anything about the theme of the movie. So far, all of the themes from Sailor Moon Crystal and Eternal have been done by Momoiro Clover and I would like for Momoiro Clover, Clover to continue to Sailor Moon Cosmos to finish this arc, this saga, this era of Sailor Moon so that we have consistency on this, but I believe that there's a lot of potential in SG5. Uh, four of the five members of this group are from another J-pop group called Happiness and I really like this group. They are very powerful. They're powerhouses when it comes to dancing and singing. They are very, very good. So I believe that they're going to bring this to the SG5 group as well. They are big powerhouses when it comes to talent. And I think that um, there might be some relation to SG5, to Sailor Moon Cosmos. So I think 
uh, they might be the ones to do the theme song or at least one of the songs from the movie. Maybe not the main song, but we might have other songs because A uh, Ceremony Eternal had lots of them. We have the theme song, um, Tsukihiro Shine On, and then we had other songs uh, like the updated versions from the songs from the 90s from Sailor Moon Supers. And we also have character songs as well. So we might have more than one song. I mean, we are going to have more than one song because we are going to have Starlight songs for sure because we've already listened to them in the trailer, to one of them in the trailer. We might have more than one. Let's wait and see. But I believe they're going to be involved in the movie as well. And I feel like this message from them on Twitter, this post on Twitter, shows a little bit of that, you know. But as I said, this is just me theorizing. This is just me trying to understand what that message meant. And I believe that their announcement as the theme song is going to, or as one of the songs, is going to come together with another trailer. Just me theorizing on top of my head. And we have lots of other characters to see uh, announced both in visuals and voice acting, which are the anima mates. There are lots of them in this movie, so we are going to have lots of new voice actors, lots of updates, and maybe a trailer will come after we have all of them, even though some of them will only appear in the second movie, so we might take it, it might take them a longer time to be announced. I don't know. All I know is that I am loving Cosmos so far. A great journey ahead of us for sure. Anyways, babies, this is all for now. Just want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you are a member, thank you very much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. And if you've watched up to now, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.